we are once again in JavaScript. We are continuing the lesson Implicit Coercion in JavaScript Lesson 2.3. The preliminary apps and folders are listed as follows. Localhost, Sublime Text, Apache Server, Google Console, HTDocs folder, and MAMP Server. And this should be running at the background when we are going on with our lesson. At the same time, we're still using the HTML file, implicit underscore coercion, which will be used in this lesson. And we are running this file in Sublime Text Editor. Our main topic is JavaScript variables and objects. Lesson 2.5, implicit coercion in JavaScript. At the end of the lesson, we'll be able to discover how JavaScript automatically converts variable types for us. This can make learning easier, but it also can cause unexpected issues. So let's figure it out. Now we are going to troubleshoot these codes in here. And we'll try to anticipate on where could this go horribly horribly wrong. Firstly, we'll have to comment our codes here in Sublime Text. After selecting all the codes, we could just press Command Slash in Mac or Control Slash for Windows. Or we could comment manually with an open comment and a close comment that's encircled in red. Now we're gonna say var hs equals, let's say for example, 300. Then var ms, for example, 200. So we'll console.log. Total number of students are hs plus ms. If we save this and go over our console and refresh, sure enough, the total number of students are, well, that's a huge number. Encircled in red, that's 300200. That's kind of a problem. So we want to add those numbers together arithmetically. In order to do that, we need to be much clearer on what we're doing. The computer says that we're adding a string the one with red double underline to whatever this is encircled in red it's a number or just convert it to a string and then we're adding that to whatever is this one the one encircled well this is a number so the computer will say I'll convert this to a string what we not what we want to do is Let's say, no, 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 computer, add these two things together first because they're both numbers. And now, if we say sublime and refresh the console, total number of students are 500. And that's the thing that we wanted to see in the console. That's quite good enough in there. So, we have just discussed the difference between arithmetic addition and string concatenation. So, please take note of those two important um, discussions regarding JavaScript. Now, let's complicate this even further. Let's say MS is a prompt. So prompt how many students needed, for example. Now let's save Sublime and refresh the browser. We'll see how many students needed. Let's say 200, for example, and we'll type it there. Then click OK. After we click the OK button, well, now once again, we got this problem. 300200. But we might say, we explicitly added this before we put them together with a string. The one with the 
the triple blue underline. The problem is this prompt here is actually returning a string and not a number. So ms becomes a string, the one with red underline, and hs is a number, the one with blue underline. What happens when we add a string to a number? Regardless of the order, one of them is a string and one of them is a number. It will convert them both into strings and concatenate them. So we need some way of converting the string explicitly to a number. We use parse float or parse int or we could just multiply it by one, the one encircled in red. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So we'll save and refresh, then type 200 for example and click OK. Sure enough, the number of students are 500 and that's pretty cool enough. The last part of our discussion will be covered next session and I hope that we are now enlightened with implicit coercion in JavaScript. Thank you.